Hey Queens, this is Queen Yolanda. So I am getting getting ready today just to go out again um, to the mall to take care of some, some business. But I wanted to talk to you queens this morning about not giving up and not throwing in a towel um, and just pressing regardless of what's going on in your life. Just keep pushing, just keep going. And just to kind of motivate you this morning as you as you um, getting ready to go to work and getting your day started, going to church, whatever you're doing, you're watching this video, whatever time of day you're watching it, you know, just uh, you know, keep you encouraged. But as you know, as you all know, queens, I'm not um a professional, not that you know good at doing the makeup and stuff like that. I just really like to talk. So, and while I'm talking, I just like to you know, talk to you all to be talking about something that is, you know, good information and good stuff. You know, so in case you have something you want to talk about and be like, you know, that's a good topic. You know, I, I need for her to reiterate or talk about it even more, go into more details. Um, or if you just agree with some of the stuff that I'm saying, um, this that's why I like to get ready with you all. So we can just sit and talk about certain topics that we wouldn't normally talk about on a normal basis. And don't talk about it too often. So when we're talking about going through things in life, you know, you think about, you know, seem like, you know, no matter how hard you try, no matter what you do, it seems like nothing is working. It's like you make two steps forward, you get not two or three steps back. And I have I have been there and, and I used to be, um, you know, a little frustrated with life frustrated with the fact that I have to go through so much and it just seemed like every time I receive a blessing or I got a blessing on the way it just seemed like all hell break loose and and actually sometimes it is like that you know because the enemy don't want you to get it and he don't want you to be prepared and ready to receive whatever it is that God would have you to be receiving so it just seemed like things get really really intense and it seemed like you get overly agitated and that's when you know your breakthrough is on its way. Okay, queens. So that's when so when things start getting heated, you start getting agitated. Don't give up. Don't do not throw in a towel. Do not start, do not quit school. Do not do not quit on your job. Do not stop going to the church. Do not, you know, stop feeling um um feel um communicating with people and stuff like don't 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 retract don't retreat do not um fall back do not give up do not throw in a towel do not isolate yourself for too long because i know isolation is not a bad thing I, isolation separation is not a bad thing okay so i'm gonna tell you that but just don't do it for too long queens you know because you do need that time between you and god to talk about some things and be able to hear from him and to know what direction you need to be you're, you need to be going in. What's next? You know what I'm saying? Like you need to be spending that time with him anyway. But when things start getting really, really rough, you need to spend even more time with him. But don't do it on the account of missing church or Bible study and things like that. You know, too off, too much. Because I know that sometimes things come up where you can't make it to Bible study. You don't want to go. You don't want to. You're so, you know, um, hurt. You know, you don't want to go to church. You don't want to be around people. I have been there. So, I, you know, I understand that. But all I'm saying is don't go off too long. Now, I really, really mess up this, this eye right here because I'm talking and trying to put my makeup on at the same time. Um, So, but I'm going to still try to clean it up for you, queen, so y'all can see, you know, the after aftermath. So, I am, I, I would apologize, but this is, this is how I put it on for real. And when I do mess it up, that this I keep right on going. I don't stop. <laughs> For real. So, going back to what I was saying, Queens. You know, so, you know, you keep pressing just like this eyebrow here. You know, you see I'm, I'm messed up. It looks a hot mess, don't it? It looks real bad. But by the time I get through um, adding my concealer and things like that, it's going to it's gonna come out. It's going to look okay. It's going to look just fine. It's, it's not even going to look like what it's been through. So I know y'all done heard that before. That's a good one. My eyebrows, when I'm done with it, and I'm applying my makeup, putting on, doing my hair and everything else, I am, my eyebrow is not going to look like what it has been through. So look at it now. It looks jacked up. 
both of them jacked up and messed up they don't like what you see on in the tutorials on the makeup tutorials do it no i don't so that's what life situations in life things that we go through in life things look a hot mess and it just seemed like god you know it seemed like i make one step i get knocked two steps back seem like no matter like seem like the people who are doing bad who are doing wrong seem like they progressed in their life seem like they get whatever they want they're achieving every goal they're hitting every mark they're just doing everything and it seems like when I, you know, when you try to do something wrong or when you try to advance, it's like you get knocked down. And you be like, well, what is this here? Well, God is keeping you. Because God will chastise those he loves. It's like you know better. Why are you trying to go out there and do everything that everybody else is doing? You're chosen. You can't go out there and do what everybody else is doing. And you won't survive out there. He has chosen you. They have made a choice not to choose God, and you did. And so being that you've made a choice to choose God... You know, now when you do go out and make mistakes, he chastises you. Because he be like, you know what, you know better. They don't, they don't know any better. But you, you know better. And you've been taught better. You know, and all that they may even know better, but they have just chosen a different route in life. You know? And they will soon, they will soon come to a halt. What they're doing will soon come to a halt. So don't be upset and jealous because you see some people really advancing really fast and they and, and you know it's good it's it's not a, it's not anything wrong with advancing fast you see what i'm saying because you have some people who are doing right living right and they're advancing fast there's nothing wrong with that don't get me wrong but when you see people who are doing wrong and living wrong or what well, we say not living that living wrong um and they're advancing they're selling dope and all that stuff or whatever they're doing you know they seem like they are not getting in trouble they're not getting caught well, they're not getting caught yet. They haven't gotten caught yet. You know, God is probably giving them enough time to, you know, to change, to get right, to get their mind right. Because we don't know what they went through and why they're doing what they're doing. You see what I'm saying? Like, we don't know. So, they, you know, the situations, the circumstances they've experienced in life, they have used that whatever they're doing to to get out of where what they're, where they're whatever they're in. And that's their escape goal. You know what I'm saying? That's what they're doing. And then God has given them an opportunity to get out. You know, even some of the things that we've done in life, y'all know, queens, that we that we know we only got out by the grace of God. Y'all know that. Some of the stuff that we were into, some of the stuff that we did, we only got out because of the grace of God. Only because. You know, so what I'm saying is don't 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 give up and don't throw in the towel. Don't look at someone else's life or situation and 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 be jealous or envious because they seem to be progressing and doing better than you. And it seems like everybody around you is turning cartwheels and flips and, you know, being, being um, blessed double your time. And just saying, like, God, when is my time going to come? Well, queen, your time is going to come. It just it just going to take a little bit longer. You see what I'm saying? And and just wait your time. Because when it, when it comes, it's going to come right on time. And you're going to be ready for it. You are going to be, you're going to be ready for it. I'm going to try to do this. Go back with this. Um spool it here and see if I could try to make this eyebrow close to the other eyebrow so y'all can see how sometimes we have to go back and look at the eyebrows over and over again and try to see if we can get as close as we can. No two things are just alike. So I want y'all to understand that too. So when you're doing your eyebrows, don't expect them to be just alike. Yeah. They're not going to be just alike all the time. And you have to work at it. Probably shouldn't have bothered this one, but I'm trying to see if I can get both of them to look somewhat like relatives, <laughs> somewhat like family. Mm -hmm. and, and you know, in Queens, I just, I, you know, just want you to stay encouraged, okay? Just want you to stay um, positive about everything that you're going through in life and wait your turn. Because your turn will soon come. And why were you ready to, look here. Why were you ready to throw in the towel? Ooh, my goodness. Why were you ready to throw in the towel? Why were you ready to give up? Why were you ready to show out? Why were you ready to fight? Why were you ready to go off on somebody? You ready to quit? You ready to give somebody a piece of your mind? You. That's when your breakthrough is coming. I'm telling you, because everything get intense. Everything. So, like, everything around you gets gets on like it goes to another level and you're like where's all this chaos and mess coming from and a lot of times we say oh that's the devil bother with me maybe your breakthrough is coming and, and for something to break through it has to apply pressure 
Because you can't expect something that is trying to break through. It has something has to break in order for it to come through. So you have to be at a place in your life where you just feel like you're about to break. You know? You just feel like you're about ready to just throw in a towel. Feel like you're about to break and you're about to have a nervous breakdown. Seems like you're about to lose your mind. Seems like nothing is going right. And that's when you know that your breakthrough is here. So I, you know, I, I just, I really felt that this morning. <laughs> I really felt that that breakthrough thing, you know. So you have to, you know, be to that place in your life where you just have to be, you know, ready to just, um, be ready to be, be ready to be uncomfortable whenever God is getting ready to elevate you. Whenever you're getting ready to get your, whenever you're getting ready for your breakthrough, whenever you're ready for, um, things to happen in your life. Um, and you start experiencing turmoil and, and you know, seem like everything around you is in a mess. You know, don't give up. It, it seems hard. No, and let me tell you something. It seems like you're the only one going through. And when, if you try to explain to somebody, they're not going to understand what you're saying. Hold on, I'm trying to get that right. They're not going to understand what you're saying because guess what? Is you going through it. And they're probably going to feel like, oh, give it to God. You complain and you say, I don't give it to God. You know, Queen, the only person going to be able to understand your struggle is you because you're the only one going through it. They cannot go through it with you. They cannot force you to go through it. They cannot make you feel in the bed about what you're going through. It's up. It's totally up between you and God. And when you just surrender and say, God, whatever's in your will, let your will be done. And that's when you start seeing things begin to break in your life. You start seeing things um, start flowing better. You start seeing, you'll start seeing things begin to change in your life. You see what I'm saying? You'll start seeing it. I'm up here talking and just, you know, doing all kind of stuff. But it's okay. That's that's this is one of the reasons why a lot of queens start on their eyebrows first because it is a little bit of work into it. You know, if you're somebody like myself who is not that good at doing eyebrows, you know, you're gonna be going back and forth like this, especially if you're running your mouth and you're talking. But this is good stuff. It's the good stuff I'm talking about. But anyway, you know. Nobody knows but you. Nobody's going through that situation but you. And you know, and that's why you that's why some queens get off to themselves and they get before God so God can sustain them. So you don't give up and throw in a towel. And especially when he got greatness inside of you and you're in and, and it's about to be birthed out, it's gonna it's gonna get hard, it's gonna get intense. You know, whenever you're in labor. It seems like, oh, the first few months, the first few hours of labor, when you're getting ready to go into labor and have a child, first few hours seem just fine. I don't remember moisturizing my skin, so I'm putting a little moisturizer and stuff like that on my skin. Seems like everything is, is fine. You can handle the pain. You're laughing. You're excited. You're talking about it when you're ready to have the baby and stuff like that. Um, looking forward to the baby to be here. And I think you had like a few... You know, contractions. The contractions don't seem as hard and stuff like that. So, like, oh, I can handle this. You know, will it get worse than this? Yes. Yes. Queens. <laughs> you thinking that, oh, I'm about there. And I've dilated and things like that. Yeah, you've dilated. And you about ready to have your baby. And it's going to come. And it's going to come today. But when it comes, be ready. Because I'm telling you, you thinking when those contractions hit... They hit back to back and it seems like it affect your whole entire body. And it seems like your whole body becomes sensitive. You can feel everything. Everything queens. You feel everything. And when you go into labor, you're pushing, you're pushing. And when, when it's time for that baby to come, it, it's something that happens when it's time for that baby to come. When you know, when they tell you to get one more push, they're almost there, they're almost there, the head is right there. When you give that one last push, it's something about that last push, it's almost like you're almost out of breath, but you know you got to keep that push coming. And when you go, ah, oh, that last push, that's when that baby gets here. And that was like that very intense. Like you were saying to yourself, I don't think I could handle another push. Like if I would have pushed like that again, I probably would have fainted. Because those that pushing requires a lot from you. I'm sorry. Queens, here we go. So I'm gonna apply some eyeliner on here that I applied earlier.
And so when you get that last push, it's almost like you forget about all that pain. All you see is that little blessing that you've been waiting to come, that you've been praying, that you've been waiting for nine months, that you've been carrying, you've been rolling from one side to the other side. You've been sore on every side. Like you have been comfortable carrying that baby. When you have a baby to carry, like let's say for instance, you got a blessing coming, something you've been working for, wait, waiting for, praying for, and you know, and, and, it's, and it's near coming. You, you, um, been praying to God for, and you've been waiting for that baby to get here, whether it's a, a financial blessing or where it is, you know, money coming in the bank or whether you're looking for a new house or a car or whatever the situation is playing, you've been waiting for that thing to come and you've been praying for this thing. And when it finally get here, all that pressure you went through, all the stress, you feel like, oh my goodness, I about showed out. But all this, you know, you, you, you're acting up at times. And then when you want to go back and apologize to people and then want to tell them what you what you were going through, they're going to be like, well, you're not act like that. <laughs> you're like, you know, I know I didn't, but it was just so much pressure. You know, I was going through so much. It was just so intense. and just so hard. Yes, it does. It get intense. And sometimes, you know, those people that are, are, are right there with you, the closest ones are the ones that take the biggest hit. You see, I paused for that one because I want you to see what I'm saying. The ones that are closest to you, they take the biggest hit because they're the closest to you. And we take a lot of our frustration out on innocent people. These people, our family members, look, they don't have anything to do with what we're going through. That's on our own struggle, our own issue and problem that we're going through. And we're taking them through it with us, you know. And, and, and we have to learn how to handle our, our problems better. We have to learn how to handle what we're going through just a little bit better. Instead of going off and catching the attitude and things like that, we're waiting for a breakthrough. We've been and we're almost impatient. We're frustrated, sitting up at night, concerned about it, looking to see when it's gonna come through for us. And you know, and it seems like nothing is happening. And every chance you look around, you feel like it's coming, then it don't come. You get all these different prophecies and words of encouragement that it's coming. You're saying, when is it coming? I've been waiting all this time, and it's still not here yet. It's still coming, Queens. It's still coming. Wait. Terry, wait on the Lord. He shall renew your strength. God will give you what, what you need in due season. Don't give up on God because he won't give up on you, Queens. So keep waiting. Don't, 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 don't give up. Okay? Don't give up. I was looking for my, a different brush, but I can't find it. So I'm just going to use a different brush. Um, and there's some makeup here. It's I got this from, you know, Fit 370. And it, whenever you apply it, it seems like it's darker, you know, than, um, it seems like it's darker when you apply it and it gets into your skin. I don't know. So I'm just going to apply it here in these areas here. I don't know where my brush at. Try to keep everything together. Anyway, so Queens, and you know, you know, so things get, it things like it get, it gets worse, it gets rough before it gets better. And you've been, you know, acted up and done all sorts of things to your family members and things like that. When you finally get your blessing and then wanting to go back and trying to apologize, they may not, may, they may or may not want your apology. Cause they be like, you know, she have to act like that. She really, you know, acted up. And some people are mature enough. They say, well, you know, I, I'm not detective personal. You know, with her saying what she said and act like she was acting, you know, some of them, some people are so understanding, you know, and they don't, they won't get upset with you because they understand that you're going through a lot. And, 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 and when they can actually see that you're pregnant, actually see that you have purpose, they understand the, the pressure behind waiting. Approach behind working on something, waiting and wanting it for months, and you can see things adding up and seeing things growing and seeing that it's more pressure applied to you. Some of them say, "Well, I understand. Look at all she's what she's going through, and 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 you know she's been waiting, so I'm not gonna take it personally with her catching an attitude with me." So when you have somebody in your, that's why you have to be careful who you let be there with you when you're going through your hard times. Some people see your humanity; they see they see your struggle. You have to be careful with that, who you allow to, to be in your in your circle. Because some people can handle seeing you and your humanity, see you act up, saying things that you shouldn't say. You know, as long as you can see, as long as people can, you can, you know, people can be at their best. You know, we friends with them. <laughs> we can be around them, yes, be around them. But when we finally see their humanity, see them acting like real humans, see them saying things, can you handle it? 
You know, we sit and we look at pastors and you know, they, they're not machines. They're human too. They have feelings too. We'll sit and judge. We'll sit and judge them because they, they show they're part of their humanity. Women, a woman of God, first lady, you acting up? Oh, we'll judge them. Mm -hmm. Because we feel like they should be in a different place. But guess what? They have hard times too. Matter of fact, because... They are held, are held accountable. You know, they go through a whole lot more than we do. As the enemy is trying to get to the head. He's trying to knock them out. He's trying to take them out before they can get started. You, before they can deliver you out. Before they can pray you through. He want to try to get to them. You know. Try to get them to a place where they don't want to. Where they can't pray. Where they want to stop going to church. <laughs> where they just feel like they need a vacation in it. Take some time off and some days off and weeks off and things like that from the church. But they have to keep pressing, you know. And they have times where they don't feel like going to church too, you know. But they know it's a call in their life. And they know once they get there, they feel better, you know. And you do. Once you got a baby that you know is yours that God has given you. And you start working at it and you start seeing that baby grow. I'm telling you, queens. You know, you be tired at times. But you just know if you just keep on pressing, keep on going, that there's a blessing in it. And then, and then you're being held accountable and people are looking for you. People are depending on you. So it don't become, it's not about you anymore. You know what I'm saying? So all your breakthrough is not about you. Queens, it's not about you. It's not. It's really not. <laughs> people counting on you to make it. You know, loved ones. Even though, honey, even some of your your enemies, count, count, you know, counting on you. Your haters, they trying to see what your next move gonna be. Not that they really, really hate. They just really appreciate you being bold and doing something that they wish they would have been able to do. They just wasn't bold enough to do it. And they really want to see so they can some kind of way find a way to copy you and do what you're doing. They just wish they were bold enough to do it. They just wish. You'd be surprised who's looking for you. And then they looking at you and watching your life. Seeing your life struggle. Seeing how you go through so much and see how you come out of it. And you say, in spite of what I go through, yet though he slay me, yet will I praise him. And no matter what you're going through in life, you say, I'm not going to give up. I'm not going to stop. Because I know my breakthrough just on the other end. So I got to break. And sometimes we have to break. Sometimes pride have to break off us. Sometimes fear have to break off. Procrastination has to break off. Because something has to break. It has to break. Your breakthrough has to break through something. It has to break through something that's been hindering it. In order for you to be able to receive your breakthrough, receive your blessing, it's some things that got to fall off your life. Some things have to break off your life. In order for that blessing to come in your life and not destroy you. Mm hmm So we be wanting stuff. And we say that we're ready for it. We say we're ready for these different blessings and things like that. And really when the blessings come, you know, a lot of times people say, oh, I want a million dollars. And you wonder why when they get a million dollars a year later, they broke. Because they wasn't really ready. They wasn't really ready, you know. And if God wants us to keep whatever we have, he wants our blessings to work for us. He will not put too much on us to what we can handle. Prime example, the prodigal son. If his daddy would have given him all of his inheritance, <laughs> he probably would have been a really bad shepherd. His daddy knew just what he can handle. Believe me, he didn't get all his inheritance. He just got some of it. And he just, uh, he thought that was what he, you know, he thought that was his, all of his inheritance. When he came to his senses, he came right on back to daddy. Did he not? And what did his daddy do? Welcome him with open arms. God is the same way with us. Welcome us with open arms. Because a lot of times we'll get, we say we saved, sanctified, Holy Ghost, feel, fire baptized, going to church and all the bigger th things that we're big enough to do. Trials hit our life. We stop going to church. We slow up from going to church. Or if we go to church, we don't serve or we don't be as excited about God like we used to. You see what I'm saying? And, and because things are going on in our life, we kind of got distracted along the way. You know, things like that do happen, queens. And sometimes, and sometimes we get so caught up that we just forget God altogether. But Queens, I'm here to tell you that you have to keep pushing. You have to keep going. You have to, you have to just keep pressing on because you will feel like giving up. You will feel like throwing in a towel. 
You will. But you have to keep going. And you will and, and and when you keep going and your blessing come, you be glad that you stayed in there. You be glad that you stayed in the race. You got to you got to you got to run the race that is set before you. If there's a race set before you, keep running. You're gonna stop in the middle of the race and be like, oh, I'm tired. I'm frustrated. People gonna look at you like you say, what? You, you really can keep moving. Like for us, we say, oh, I can't because I done been hit over here. I was hit with my finances, bills behind, car tearing up, things around the house messing up, children acting up, husband out like he ain't got no sense. You got so much stuff going coming at you at one time. And you're saying, I don't even know where all this is coming from. What have I done so bad? Queen, it's not always enough that you've done bad, that you've done wrong. Things just happen. And God is just getting ready, getting you prepared for what is to come. You know, we don't see it now, understand now, but, but honey, queens, later on, you will be able to understand, you know, why your struggle was so intense. I believe that the struggle, that the harder the struggle is, the harder it is, um, the bigger the breakthrough, the bigger the blessing. The bigger the issue, bigger the problem, the bigger the blessing. That's how I look at it. And you have to you have to stay in the race. You have to stay there, Queens. You have to. Don't give up. Cause you'd have wished you to stay in there. And then what happens after you don't show it out, acting the food, and say everything you're big enough to do. Show it out on all your children, family members, and things that didn't get blessed and come. And while you're blessing here, you know, you're going back trying to apologize to everybody. You know, that's why some queens, you know, do separate themselves and do go off to themselves because they know, hey, I'm in a, I'm in a place, you know, but go off in that place and you cry, let it out, talk to God, tell him, tell him everything. I call him daddy. I say, daddy, this is what I'm going through. And I'm tired. And, and this person made me feel stupid. And I felt like this and I felt like that. I tell him, I talk to him just like that. I sure do. I sure do. I'm going to try something here. I see this here. Um, cold under pressure. I like, um, I don't know. Mm -hmm. I'm going to see what it's about. I want to do some of that dark stuff. <laughs> Y'all hear that, queens? Y'all know I'm not good at makeup. I'm calling it dark stuff. So if I get me a, if I get somebody that no makeup, they would say, "Honey, that's not that's not dark stuff." <laughs> they would tell you, uh, "That is actually some that is actually such and such makeup." When you know, I don't know. But anyway, I'm gonna try like a lighter color, like maybe I don't know, I don't know, um, maybe um, under my eye, I guess. Y'all have to forgive me because I really don't. I'm really, really new at this stuff. I'm really not that good at this stuff. And I already applied my, had my lash um, applied on because I'm not good at lashes. And then one of the reasons why people um, that know how to put makeup on, put lashes on last, is because um, they don't want to get on their, on their lashes. They don't want to get the makeup on their lashes. So for you queens that try to figure out why the lashes are applied on last, that's, that's why. So if y'all look at the videos and stuff and y'all trying to figure out why they put the lashes on last, that's one of the reasons why. But anyway, Queens, back to what I was saying about, you know, acting up and your breakthrough and things like that. You know, things like that do come and it come hard, come intense, just like having that baby. And when that baby gets here, it's like all your troubles, all your problems that you've been, you know, going through goes away immediately. You know what I'm saying? All the pain, all the discomfort. And you know, then you, and you know, you take that little one home. You know, now you go. You know, you can lay on your tummy. You know, so you can lay on your back. You can breathe and all that good stuff. You know, and that's why you know you have to just you know under pressure. You have to be even more humble to be able to hear from God when you're under you know under pressure. And you're agitated and frustrated. You really want to really consult God even more. Because it would be so intense. And you can go to people and, and say pray for me. This is what's going on. But you have to go through that. That's something you have to go through by yourself. Nobody can go through that with you. Because at the end of the day when you receive your blessing. You want them to get your receive a blessing with you. Or you want to get your blessing for yourself. You don't want to do that. Now I cleanse them back. I had to restart my video. I guess I took too long. So I'm, I keep calling it dark stuff, but it's not. <laughs> it's not um, dark stuff. It's eyeshadow stuff, and I'm just using it 
for my eyes. I'm just trying to make it darker here. I don't know. You have to see how that works, how it turns out. I might have put too much. But I have to see. You know. Remember I was telling y'all about my little eyebrows and things like that. Once you start applying your makeup and things like that, everything comes together. Even though, you know, I did, you know, all of it, all of it comes together. You'd be so, you know, see how those women, how those queens be looking when they pile their makeup and stuff. And you be like, you know, I know you just, you got all your stuff together and it's just flawless, but you don't know how it, how it was, how it started out. You know, you do have some queens now. They know how to apply this makeup. And I tell you, they know what they're doing. They know what they're doing. Well, this queen right here don't, so... And I'm okay with it. And I will get better. I will. <laughs> so y'all have to bear with me. I appreciate y'all staying with me while I do my makeup. But I just had to talk about, you know, things therapeutic for me. To talk about this type of stuff. Because I know I'm not the only one that go, that's going through it. You know. We go through things that sometimes we think we're the only one that's going through. And to know that other people are going through with us. It, it, makes, it makes life easier. Because they say, you know, cause we, I look at it like this right here. If, if I'm going through something and somebody else have been through it already, I want to talk to that person who have been through it. You see what I'm saying? It is something about when you when when you talk to someone who has been through it. So that's what I'm telling y'all. When I say it's not about you, I think I said that before. It's not about you. You know, we're thinking and we're going through, oh, what was it me? I'm going through so much. Yes, you are, baby. Yes, you are, sweetie. Yes, you are, queen. But at the end of the day, at the end of the day, you're going to realize that you went through it because somebody else needed you to go through it so you can minister them through. So you can minister them through. You can minister to them in a, in, in a, from the right place. Minister them through. Because they're going to call you crying and hollering and screaming and things going on in their house. Husband cheated on them. Should they leave? Son in jail. About to go to jail. Daughtered. Fought her back. You know, you're saying, oh, I thought my, my life was hard. And you, re you realize that you went through it. Because you're going to be able to minister to a lot of people in that area. And, you're, and let me tell you something, Queens. A lot of times your biggest struggle, um, like if you're dealing with, you have a lot of your struggles within, within your family, God is more than likely to use you in, um, in family ministry. Mm -hmm. Like if you're going through something, it's like your struggle is so, like you struggle so hard with family. And it just seems like your family is in a disarray all the time. And you're just like, I don't even know what's going on in my family. Every time I turn around, my children are doing this and this is going on. And it just really gets on my nerve. Maybe that's the area in which God going to use you mightily in. He's going to use you in that area. Yes. And you're thinking you're just going through it. No, 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 queens. You're not just, you're not just going through it. You, you're in that so that you can be a help to somebody else. Because you're going to be a blessing to somebody. You're going to be able to minister to somebody through what they're going through. And you're going to be a great help to them. So don't just look at your situation and be like, oh, I'm going through this. I'm going through that. Look at it. Oh, I'm going to help somebody. So I'm going to go through this. And, and, and me, I, I feel like the more I go through in life, the harder the struggle is, the more I go in. The more I really talk about God. The more I pray. The harder I pray. The more I seek his face, the more I come, I come have a conversation with him. <laughs> I want to talk to God. I want to talk to my daddy. I want to tell my daddy all about it because I'm tired, frustrated, weary. Want to want to go off on everybody. I look at people crazy. They don't know what I'm going through. They don't understand. No, they don't. <laughs> they don't. They're not you. They're not getting ready to receive the blessing. One thing about a baby, nobody can give birth to your baby but you. Nobody. Your, the husband can't give birth to your baby. Your mother, sister, cousin, you have to give birth to your own baby. Whatever your destiny is and whatever you have to go through to get there, you have to be the one to do it. No one else can. 
No one else can minister, encourage, and empower the way that you can. No one can talk to people the way that you can. No one can get a point across or uh, illustrate things or explain to them the way that you can, queen. <laughs> so you have been chosen for this. So don't give out. Don't 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 quit. I'm I'm sorry, queens. I'm just ram I'm just rambling on. Not on possum lipstick. <laughs> but again, I'm gonna try to make this stuff work. I don't know what I've done. And I don't have any um I was just trying something out with this um lip gloss here. I was just trying something out on this little palette here. Since it was here and I was talking. I think I got a little too excited. But um, but yeah, queens. I'm just saying. You know, just be mindful of that. Nobody can do but you. You know? No one. Your Moses had to go through to deliver the children of Israel to let my people go. He had to be the one to speak up. And listen. Think about it. He wasn't the best speaker. So you're looking at your situation. You're saying I'm not the smartest person. I'm not the prettiest person. Not the best built. Most attractive. I don't talk like I'm educated. I'm, I'm not small enough. Skin is not that pretty. Don't have beautiful hair. Whatever your issue is, whatever your excuse is to why you feel like you're not qualified. God is going to use you. A lot of times it is the people who seem not to be qualified are the ones God is going to use. He will use the foolish things of this world. When people say that you can't do it because you have a speech problem. You're going to be the one that God going to use. Queens, I'm done here. I, I, I pray that what I've said helped you in some way. Um, I'm going to spray my face with some setting spray. And I'm going to... Okay, queens. So, this is the finishing touch to my makeup. And I'm going to tell you real quick that all I did after I got off the camera was apply the setting spray. And I did go over here with um to my by my eyes here. And I put some um some of that concealer there to try to clean that up just a little bit. I'm not professional at that, but I felt like it needed to be cleaned up just a tad bit. And um oh in my neck I did put some because I had a baby a few months ago. About almost five months now. But um, I'm darker right here in my neck area. Um, and so I was I, I bought some of the makeup I have here down to my neck so it kind of blend in just a little bit. So if everything seems like it's a little bit better, it's because I did apply the setting spray. And this is some really good setting sprays. Um, Too Faced Hangover 3-in-1 setting spray I got from Sephora. And this is the finishing touch, queens. This is get ready with me. And remember when I was telling you about my eyebrows and how it was gonna all come together. Y'all see how my eyebrows are? They're not perfect, okay? They're not like what you see in the makeup tutorials and things like that. But still, it still came out pretty. Y'all see how it all added out, added up? So for you queens who wanted to do makeup and you just a little afraid or a little shy of, of, of using makeup, do it anyway. Try it anyway until you start getting better at it. Even if you do like I did, error, make mistakes. Guess what, queens? You'll eventually get there. Okay, and you don't have to do makeup all the time because you see it took me a few, uh, took me a, a minute. I don't care how long it took. Just as long as whatever message God had me to deliver to you today, I got it out in. I got my makeup done. Okay, <laughs> and I'm happy with the um the results. Although I didn't think that it would come out this pretty with the color and you know with my eyes and things like that in my my lipstick, but it turned out to be really pretty. So queens, I'm getting better at this thing. Um, I haven't yet learned how to do the highlight uh, or the um, the glow and things like that, but I do have a, a natural glow. I think this um, setting spray really does it in the lighting that I'm, uh, I'm using, does it. So, this is the look. Okay, I'll talk to you later, Queens. Thank you for getting ready with me. Like, share, and subscribe to this video.